Hello everyone, this is Colton with POSGuys.com and today we're going to be showing you how to set up a restaurant layout using Open Dining software. So without further ado, I'm going to jump on the computer here and show you how to get this started. Okay, so I've got us into the login page for the Open software uh, so I can walk you through this from the very start when you first load it up. So what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to get logged in. So I'm just going to hit that and then hit management and that'll bring you onto this main screen here. Um, there's a ton of different options here, but for the store layout and uh, getting your mini map kind of built, we're going to be looking at the store layout tab. Um, so I'll give you a quick walk through here of what these different tabs kind of look like. Um, the tab we're on right now is the tables tab. This is where you'll create all the different tables that you'll be assigning. Um, right now we have a ton of these because it's a demo unit. Yours won't have any when you first get it started off, so there'll be a little less to look at there. Uh, the next option is table groups. Um, you could assign different tables uh, to have different uh, different types of tables, rather. So here we have a banquet and then a two top and a four top. Um, again, when you first log in, you won't have any of these options. Um, the next option is going to be table map. Um, so this is what your people are actually seeing. Um, so there's different options laid out that way. Uh, and then finally, there's a section mini map. And this is where you'll be able to build the different rooms, essentially. Um, that you'll be moving around with. Uh, you can also see on the right there's some different reservation tabs uh, and some call queue system notes. We won't be using those today uh, so I won't go over to them in too much detail um, but do know they're there and we'll get to those in a future episode. So the very first step that you're going to want to do when you're building this is to get uh, the section, go to the section mini map that I'm on right now and build a new section and you can see that option in the top right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit that and then you'll have to give it a designation. That's like a two letter word, or sorry, a two letter uh, indicator that'll kind of go uh, and kind of describe it. So say we want to do a garden bar, I guess. Uh, you know, you're really fancy. We'll just do GB, type out garden bar here, and then hit okay. And now you'll see that it's created it in the top corner here. Um, if you highlight that and click it, it'll type turn blue. And then you can use the arrow keys to move it around. So I can move it around uh, and I'll just pop it right there. Um, if you were to go over other options that you've already built, it displaces it, so be careful of that. Um, so we'll leave it there. And then once you have it in the location you want, you're gonna wanna go to the top left and make sure you hit the save button. If you don't hit the save button, when you uh, go over and do other things, it'll clear it and that's not super productive at all. Um, so next step here, um, if you go over to the table map section and hit garden bar, uh, you'll see that you have a empty section. Now you might want to start throwing down tables and whatnot, but before you do that, it's uh, wise to get your tables made uh, because you'll be assigning the tables and you don't want to go back uh, and you know be jumping around and doing a bunch of steps. So you create tables by going down here um, and you'll see a little blank option here. This will be a lot higher up when you first start off and it'll give it like a little name or a little, sorry, a little number rather. Um, and then from here, you have a bunch of different options uh, of which you can add. So you can give it a short name, designate the group, um, and then you have different types. So you can do like a, a dine-in, ask to order, bar seating. Um, you can designate which printer you want it to go to, uh, and then if it's reservable. So like I said, there's a ton of different options. We're not going to get into all of them today. But let's say uh, you wanted to do a little garden bar. So we could do garden table one, uh, set it as a two top. And then you can do, uh, you know, we'll just do dine-in for this particular option. And um, then make it reservable, hit add. And now, if we go down, oops, just going around, uh, you'll see that we have the garden table right down there. I'll make one more of those. We'll make this a garden bar. Uh, we'll make that one. And now you can go to dine-in here. And there should be a bar seat option. Yes, there is. Um, Maybe we don't want that one to be reservable, and we'll hit add. Perfect. So now we have the two different tables that we're going to make in this garden bar. Um, so now we'll come back over to the table map section, hit GB on this little mini map, and now you get brought up. And this is the section here. So uh, let's say you can do a bunch of different options here. You can give it a background if you really want it to be fancy. I've seen a couple people do that. Uh, then you have a couple other section connector tools decorations, dividers, and tables. So I'll start by adding a bar. Um, if you scroll down in the uh, in this tab here, 
You see there's one particular thing that I'm looking for. There we go. Um, we'll say that we're, we'll pretend that this is our bar option here. Uh, if you wanted to make it bigger because it's super small and we're just going to say this is a really big area, you can come down to this tab here where it says resize. So right now it's a 100 or so let's set that to 150. Resize that and now you'll see that it's grown a little bit and you can do that for everything. Um, so I'll just pop that right there. Um, let's come over here, click it to create it and you have a little table. Say you wanted to make that a little bigger, we'll set that to 150 as well. And there you go, you had a very big bar seat, holy moly. Um, and now let's say you wanted to add on a table. It's as easy as clicking that. Here, we'll resize that so it looks a little more proportional. And there we go. And you can also do a bunch of other cute things. You can add like doors if you really wanted to, um, you know, and get really fancy. They have some like tree options. So you can make it look really nice. Dividers if you really wanted to build walls. Um, you know, maybe there's a bathroom over here. Uh, there's a ton of different things you can do here. I'm not going to get too fancy, uh, you know, being respectful of your time here. But once you've kind of laid out all these options and got them where you wanted, uh, the next thing you want to go ahead and do is you're going to want to go ahead and link those uh, tables that you created earlier. So if you click on the table that you want to add and go to link, now you'll see that you have the numbers for all the different things that we created. Um, so, oh, here we go. Let's go to the garden here. Uh, so you can set that to garden table one. Click this little guy. You can even search it by just typing in garden there, garden bar one. And you'll see that it kind of gives it that name. Now we can be done. I'll go ahead and hit save. And now it's saved. So we're very fancy now. What we can do is if we go back and log out to the main screen, come out here, exit, and then go over to, uh, let's just say, let's just log in here real quick. Perfect. Alrighty. So this is the terrace bar from earlier. But now if you go over to this little section here, we can hit garden bar and boom, there we go. You can go ahead, click that, open up a tab, and then you can start ordering different items. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you have a great day.